Take a look at Joe Stallion. That's me, rookie quarterback for the Springfield Firebirds. Once a man living the American dream. Now I was a slave to the Reich. It was the end of a long, grueling season. Me and my teammates on the Ultramension team faced the elite Aryan All-Stars in the Uber Bowl. My script was already written. Never score, get roughed up, and make the right look good. It was either that, or slaving away, busting rocks in the Hillsboro coal mines until you croaked. So, we played the game. But this was no longer a game. This was a puppet show. And I was done being a puppet. So I fired off that ball like an old pigskin. Arrest that man and throw him into the coal mine! Enter Uber Commander Roderick Metza. I had heard stories about him. Stories from his dentist years. Stories that would make your heart race like a horse. Wait. He might still be of use to the Reich. In parts, that is. <laughs> Enough! Take him to Research Station Omega. Lights out, football man! As I slipped into oblivion, I heard the boiling anger rising from the crowd. But all I could think of was Metza's face. Where had I seen that face before? Hey, you! You dead, pal? Hey, man. Still here, buddy. Still here. Come here, pal. Wait, you're Gunslinger Joe. Man, the way you used to throw that pigskin. I'm Eric, by the way. Heard about the game. You sure ruffled Uber Commander Metz's feathers out there, pal. Listen. He's gonna cut you up. Shut up in there! Come and make me, chump! Listen, man. There's a revolution starting in America. You gotta join the resistance, Joe. Help me bust out of here, then we head up to the top floor of the Oak Street Hotel, where the resistance is. We'll give you a place to lay low. What do you say, pal? Uh, that's it! Remember, pal, Oak Street Hotel! Oak Street! Uh! This is a lesson, football men. Muscles will always be in fear. I wouldn't let Eric's death go to waste. My only chance was to escape this place and get to the resistance at Oak Street Hotel. I just had to play the game harder from now on. This was a place of secret horrors. I knew I had to get out quickly, or I'd end up like the rest of them. This is Uber Commandant Metzer speaking, cell block 101. I have a specimen request. Prisoner 398, Joseph Stallion. Escort him to Laboratory 8C. In pristine condition. Those Nazi bastards. They'll pay for this. How could you do this to someone? Didn't see that one coming, did you?
Before the Nazis took over America, Papa taught me how to shoot out on the farm. He said it might come in handy one day. How right he was. Violators will be punished. Everyone, this is disgraceful, Franklin. Did you actually fail to contain a stupid football? <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
außer sich. Wegen eines Gefangenen? Glaube ich nicht. Wir reden hier von ganz... Stimmt. Metze. seemed to be no way out. Or was there? The metallic mutts in the hangar gave me a crazy idea. You know what you are, Joe. A decaying tooth inside the diseased mouth that is America. And the doctor is your
time to take one of those dogs for a walk. Nazis were scared. They had the city on lockdown, trying to secure a dam about to burst. Something about turning the Nazis' monstrosity against them felt poetic. I was getting attached to the pooch. Wished it was real for a minute. Then I thought about it spitting fire through my neighborhood. Maybe it's better we had to say goodbye. Thank you. 
I was closing in on the resistance, a safe haven to rest up. Joe, you almost missed your appointment. The doctor will see you now. Roderick Metza, you son of a bitch. Your fellow Americans, for Christ's sake, how could you? I'll tell you why. My ancestors were humiliated during the Civil War. I am the fruit of their humiliation. 
When the Germans came, I knew they were bringing justice and order for the white man. And now, here you are, a slave to the Reich. Order has been restored, and so has my ancestors' honor. Anything to say before I seal your fate, slave? Yeah. Where do I know your ugly Nazi mug from? No. You know what? I'm not going to dirty my hands with this subhuman. I'm not even going to spare him a second thought. You finish him. In a flash, it finally came to me. Those cold eyes. That crooked smile. Metza was the same Nazi who took my father all those years ago. All I wanted to do was play ball. Out there, I was free. Out there, no one could touch me. After the war, my father formed a resistance group with some friends. They fought hard, with every inch of their lives. Eventually, like most of the resistance groups out there, they were captured. The sky was the color of fire the day Uber Commander Metza took Papa away. Same color as the fire fading out inside me. If anyone needs me, I will be at the secret police headquarters. Heil Hitler! Yes, Commandant. Heil Hitler! Now the Nazis were about to put an end to my story. Well, that's what they thought. <laughs> One thing was clear. Metza was a dead man walking. going on here. Welcome onto the field, Gunslinger Joe Stallion. Ah, it's game time. Let's hear it, folks! Holy... First quarter! Let's give a warm welcome to our boys, the German elite! stairs. schon gesagt? Mach ich, wenn ich ihn sehe. Hallo?
I knew one thing, that I would introduce Metza to the bitter taste of revenge. The taste of dirt after getting laid out by a man you shouldn't have pushed into a corner. My fellow Americans, this is Uber Commander Roderick Metzer speaking. As a dent. <laughs> the infamous <laughs> Joseph Stallion, aka Gunslinger Joe, has been well, executed like for treason. Good riddance, I say. Oh, yeah. Good riddance to these terrorists with their lies about the resistance. They yeah, are rotting nice. teeth that need to be pulled out. Right. They just want to Time murder to innocent people like you. What's the trying to live in peace. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a real American just like you. And I know Esther. that our destiny is to <laughs> serve the Fuhrer. We are part of the greater Reich now. Be a patriot. Springfield was a ghost town, like the quiet before a coming storm. My fellow Americans, this is Uber Commander Roderick Metzer speaking. As a dentist, I know the value of helping people. But you can all rest easy now. The infamous Joseph Stallion, a.k.a. Gunslinger Joe, has been executed for treason. Good riddance, I say. Good riddance to these terrorists with their lies about the resistance. 
They are rotting teeth that need to be pulled out. They just want to murder innocent people like you, trying to live in peace. Trust me. I'm a real American just like you. And I know that our destiny is to serve the Fuhrer. We are part of the greater Reich now. Be a patriot. Fulfill your destiny for the future of our race.
Hey, Franz. Revolver Herr Joe ist wieder ausgebrochen. Hoffentlich hast du dir vorher ein Autogramm geholt. <lacht> Hey, Joe, say hi to the surveillance cameras. You really embarrassed me in front of the Oberkommando, Joe. I told them you were dead. Dead. A slave embarrassing an Oberkommandant of the Reich? Embarrassment, Joe. There is nothing I hate more than being caught with my pants down. So I found an old friend of yours, deep in a coal mine outside Hillsboro. He's waiting for you in the room at the end of the hall. Consider this my gift to you, Joe. See you around, gunslinger. Papa? That, that you, son? I can't go on no more. My spirit's leaving me. Get on out of here. Forget it. The stallions are no quitters, old man. 
Hell's bell, son. Yeah. Papa had ignited the fire inside. I wasn't about to let Metza get to my family. I had passed through the eye of the storm and come out as something else. A beast of vengeance. A machine built to destroy Nazis. You stay here, Papa. Rest up, okay? Go on, raise some hell, son. After Springfield, I traveled across the Midwest. I was a man on fire, burning with a singular purpose, to destroy Roderick Metza. I was a hunter, a predator following a trail of blood. And my prey led me to the Topeka Space Center in Kansas. The fire was burning ever brighter inside me. But I knew I was in for a heck of a fight. Metza had caught a case of the jitters, hiding away in the high security space center in Topeka. There was no place left on Earth for him to run.
bastard's office. Could still smell him in here. Smelt like a de dentist's office. Made me never want to see a dentist again. Gentlemen of the Overcommander, a vulgar display of force is the only way to end the American resistance growing in the Midwest. The Sun Conveyor, aka the Sun Gun, orbiting Earth, will soon be operational. I propose going to Venus, where I can coordinate an attack that will set fire to everything within the borders of Region 2 and 3 of the American territories. Yes, the place would be uninhabitable for many, many years. But I think you all agree it would be worth it. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to your decision. Auf Wiedersehen. So, Metza had flown the coop to Venus, hedging his bets on destroying America. Well, I wasn't going to let the game end like that. I had to find a way inside that launch station. Maybe there was a hidden opening somewhere. Weißt du, was Überkommandant Metze gesagt hat? Nein, das, dass wir seine besten Soldaten wären. Wusste ich doch. Aber warum sind wir da nicht auch? Wir sind wahrscheinlich zu gut. Irgendwer muss hier ja für Ordnung sorgen. Ach, leuchtet ein. Albert, um ehrlich zu sein, glaube ich nicht, dass du viel verpasst. Das Essen da oben...
had to find something to hide in. Play the stowaway game on board a ship to Venus. Going into space, I realized I was signing my death sentence. This was a one-way ticket. End of the line for Gunslinger Joe. But I had to keep moving. I had to keep fighting. For Papa. For America. It felt like an eternity had passed by in that container. My body ached. I didn't even know up from down. I just knew I had to get out, find Metza, and stop him from using that sun gun.
I thought you were dead, Joe. Persistent. Just like your worthless father, slaving away down in those awful Hillsboro mines. And look where his persistence got him. Six feet under. At night, a grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. I remember asking him once, Father, how do you know white folks are better than Negroes? He said, use the gray goop in that little head of yours, son. I am ordained to commune with God. You see, Joe, God is on our side. Top that champ. Does not leave here alive. You hear me, you worthless worms? He is stomping all over the legacy of my ancestor. Venus heat was making me sweat worse than two a days in August. Fleeting memories. Not much to hold on to. Only the winds of hate carried me forward. This is what they call poetic justice, Joe. You could have had a decent life, taking a dive on the field for the Reich. Now look at you. A limp, 
dish rag groveling on the floor. Before I shoot your brains out, any last words? Uh, why haven't you fired the sun gun yet? The sun and gavir? Oh, that's not operational yet. <laughs> Are those your final words, slave? No, but this is. Go long, you Nazi bastard. I laid into that son of a bitch just like my papa taught me all those years ago. For him and all brothers and sisters who had suffered at the hands of the Nazis. Metza was finally dead, and I was pretty roughed up myself. Just when I thought the game was over, it looked like we were going into overtime. <laughs>